out first of all that I've only had these jeans for about three weeks so uh, normally a long-term review is going to go much longer than that and I'm usually going to test durability a little bit more thoroughly three weeks is not really enough time to see if normal wear and tear is going to wear on a pair of jeans but my wife is currently 39 and a half weeks pregnant and I know that with this newborn coming any day if this newborn is anything like the last two children we've had, then I'm not going to be getting enough sleep and I'm not going to have the energy or time to do a review. So we're going to have to accelerate the review a little bit and just realize that this review does not have durability as a nice, solid, a minimum six weeks of testing. This is only a three week review. That being said, I'll move on to practicality and functionality, which for me in a pair of jeans usually means the belt loops, the pockets and any special features the jeans might have. Now for these jeans they have eight belt loops which I find awesome because when you carry a gun or something like that you usually need to cinch your belt a little bit tighter especially if you wear a si if you have to wear a size up you're gonna have even more room to have to cinch down on. When you have a lot of belt loops it keeps the belt in line with the jeans so you're not worrying about the belt digging in above your pant line into your body. The one downside that can occur is you might have trouble finding the right clip placement for your um, holster because it might not have a spot because there will be a belt loop in the way. Now you can use separate clips or use soft loops and you can go around the belt loop or you can find a new position. Just find out what works for you. If it's that big of a deal you could probably get away with removing the belt loop but you might be better off just finding another pair of pants. Moving on from the belt loops you have your five standard pockets, your two front hip pockets, your two back pockets, and then your watch pocket. Now this one is a little bit deeper than normal so it is a little bit more useful but it's still quite narrow so it's still a little bit harder to use. I did like the LA Police Gear uh, jeans with their double setup and the expanded version so that you had much more use and utility out of those pockets. That's not a huge downside but it was noted that I did miss out on having that in these pair of jeans. They also use a golden thread throughout the jeans, which gives it a nicer look. Uh, some people not like that. I actually think it's kind of nice. It gives it a little bit more appeal. But again, your shirt's covering most of that, so most people aren't going to see that anyway. Now moving on from these two pockets, you have what I would consider your standard pockets for tactical pants. You have your M4 pocket on each side. Since I'm not walking around with an M4 magazine in my back pocket, I usually have my flashlight in the back pocket. And on the plus side, I can keep this back here. If I'm sitting in a car for a long time or something like that, it's not digging into my butt. It's not uncomfortable. I usually don't even notice it's there. Uh, the one downside is with this flashlight in particular, it does sit up a little bit higher. So if I'm bent over, I can feel it digging into my back. That's not a mark against the jeans. That's just my personal setup with this, with this flashlight. So I'm not going to mark that against it. On the other side, same pocket. I usually keep my phone there. Um, one thing I did notice is the, uh, these slash cut pockets are a little bit closer to your back pocket. So if you have something large back there, it's going to rub together and it's going to kind of move against your back body. It's not painful or uncomfortable, it's just, it can be slightly annoying, so just keep that in mind. Um, if you're doing reloads, so we'll do a pistol reload, the pockets are a little deep. So you may find yourself fishing in there, especially if you're using a compact magazine. I'm using a full-size 18 on Mekdar, so I can get my reload decently, but I would definitely recommend getting a needle mag or something along those lines, because as you can see, I'm not getting a solid purchase on the mag. I'm kind of this weird two-finger thing, so it's not as smooth of a reload as if I was reloading with a better grip on my magazine or if it was on my belt line. Not a huge deal, just something to be aware of. If you are reloading with an M4 magazine that sits the mag nice and deep, but it's still more exposed than if you would have had it in a regular back pocket, so that makes it for a much smoother reload, and you can get the mag into the gun much easier. You are going to be a little bit lower down the mag. It's not a huge deal. With some practice, you can be just as smooth. It's not going to be a huge deal. Again, just keep in mind, practice that as with anything, you get a new piece of gear, practice and train with it. Moving on from practical utility, uh, aesthetics, weight of the jeans. These are a little bit on the thinner side, which for Pennsylvania winter, it's been kind of cold wearing these outside, but they're not too terribly thin that it's awful. Um, the 
design, as I said, I like the gold threading. It really makes it look a little bit nicer. And they don't look like tactical pants. There's nothing that screams, hey, I have a gun, or hey, I'm tactical Timmy here. They just simply seem to work, and I really enjoy that. The uh, price on these is, I believe, they're right around $70. Uh, you can read the article, and I'll have a link directly to where you can purchase these. It's a little on the pricey side. I'm not going to say it's terribly expensive, and that's just coming from my budget. I do know that if I told my wife, hey, I want to buy a pair of $70 jeans, she'd probably give me an eye roll, but it's not like I'm buying $100 jeans or something like that, and they do seem to work really well. I do really enjoy them. I'm actually working on buying a second pair just because I like these that much. Moving on from price, we have the fit and comfort. Now this was actually my favorite thing is I've said in other reviews if you hit the squat rack with any kind of frequency you start to realize that you can have thighs or you can have jeans that fit. You can't have both. Uh, I'm not even that large anymore and I've still been having to buy jeans to fit my thighs and not my waist. But these jeans, I bought 34s as I usually do when I'm a size 32 waist. And the cool thing is, these are a fitted waistline, so they do sit a little bit tighter. That can be a downside, so if you're normally pretty tight on your standard fit, if you're buying these to fit your waist, they do stretch quite a bit, so you might be able to get away with it, but it is going to be a little bit tighter fit. Movement-wise, uh, they stretch and move with your body, but they don't stay stretched out, so it works really well. You can move, you could work out, um, you wouldn't really have any issue, and they're not going to stay stretched out, so you're not going to worry about it loosening up and being super baggy throughout the day. They just kind of move with your body. Other than that, they've worked really well. I've really enjoyed wearing these jeans, and I said I'm going to buy a second pair because I've been surprised by how well they work. If you would like to find out more about these jeans, you can check the links in the article and check out LA Police Gear. To you about the Defender Flex Straight Fit Jeans from 511. These jeans were provided to Spotter by LA Police Gear, and while that's awesome of them, that does not determine how this review is going to go. Uh, 